you're out for the evening, you're at the bar and somebody takes a picture of you or you take a selfie and it looks like this. I know. I'll show you how to get rid of an extreme color cast and then take it to the next level. All right, here we have that pick. I've already gotten rid of the JPEG artifacts. If you wish to see a video on how to do that, check it out down here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we'll make a stamp visible later. Control Alt Shift E. Now we'll go up to image, adjustments, and match color. Hit neutralize. Now bring up your luminance all the way and hit okay. Now we've gotten rid of the color cast, but it doesn't exactly look like the best picture in the world. So we'll make it a smart object and we'll go to filter, neural filters, and colorize. It'll throw some colors in there that might be appropriate, except not today. So scroll down, go to color artifact reduction, bring that up to about 20. Noise reduction about 20. Let's scroll up to the very top. Now let's change a couple of colors in here. First we'll do his shirt. So click on right in the middle of his chest there and choose kind of an off white. And that'll change his shirt to probably close to what the color was. Now you can move it around, adjust it, but there's the color there. Now I googled earlier Levi's jeans hex code and this is what I come up with. So I click on the jeans and change the color to 467 FA8. Hit OK. That'll change his jeans to a nice blue. Hold your Alt key down and drag over another one. So you can do the other leg. You can play around with it if you want. Bring it up a bit maybe. Now I did the same for his brown belt. I would assume it's a brown belt. So let's put a dot right there. And the hex code for a brown belt, according to the internet, is 97572B. Now that'll make his belt brown, but it's gonna leak a little bit into the jeans. So let's kind of adjust it a bit. Well, we can fix that in a minute. Hold your Alt key down and drag another one over. Move it up a bit maybe. And there, we've restored some of the color. Let's drag one of those brown ones, Alt key, down to his boot. Give his boot a bit of a brown color. Back off the strength a bit. And we've got rid of the color cast. Hit OK. Now let's do quick repairs. So we'll go new and call it repairs. Change the blend mode to color. OK, now let's zoom into the pants. You can see the brown has kind of leaked over. So go to our brush tool. Flow about 25%. Hold your Alt key down, let's grab some of that blue, and we'll color it in. Now let's do the straps, so rotate so we can and zoom in a bit so we can do the straps. Rotate the canvas, hit escape, and we can just fix up a little bit more. Control zero to zoom out. And now he's got jeans again. You can do the same for the leg, right down to the boot. And you already got rid of your color cast and you fixed some of the colors. Well, so far so good. Let's give our eyes a little bit of a break here. Just like to remind everybody to please like and subscribe, ring my bell. It's free and it really does help. Thanks a lot. All right, it's great that we got rid of the color cast and I took the liberty of just touching it up a bit more for the jeans and the boot and etc. the girl's toes. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, hey, what about the background, man? So what we'll do is we'll go to one of our selection tools and hit select subject. It'll come up, make sure it's a good selection. Doesn't have to be the best, but it looks pretty good from here. Choose the layer that we just had and put a mask on it, bam background is back. To start taking this pic to the next level, we have to go into Camera Raw. The re most recent version of Camera Raw 15.2 is the best version I've ever seen, especially when it can create masks for the people involved in the photo. You can manipulate anything and everything. Let's check it out. Okay, now let's put some things in their groups. So let's grab the layer, the picture of the people, and the repairs layer and put it in a group. Call it people. We'll do the same thing for the background. Just click on it, put it in a group, BG background. Okay, let's create a stamp visible layer again. And then you can turn off the people layer and the background layer. First, check it out. You've gotten rid of the color cast before, after, before, 
after. Good stuff. Let's take it to the next level by going into Camera Raw. So create your new layer as a smart object. And let's go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. Now over on the right hand side, click over here and hit Select People. And it'll show you the two people that are in here. Now let's pick person two, ladies first, and select everything in the list. Make sure you hit create eight separate masks and hit create. All right, the first thing I wanna do is bring out her bright smile. So let's check on the teeth. Let's zoom in there a bit. Hit Y to remove the mask color. Now let's go to the exposure and go 0 0.25. That'll bring it up. Go down to the saturation and bring it down about minus 10. And you can see on the girl before, after, you can see her bright smile. Now let's go up to her hair. Now the mask on the hair is kind of grabbing stuff over here. So the first thing we need to do is hit subtract and hit brush. Make the brush big enough and kind of remove what's not her hair. Okay, let's go down to contrast and we'll wrap it up so you can see that she has brown hair. Let's make it about 82 or so. Let's bump up the saturation a bit and go down to effects. Let's dehaze it a bit. Cool. All right, let's go down to her face skin. Again, you may have to fix the mask. So let's go to subtract, brush. Just kind of brush away stuff that is not her face. Why? Now let's bring up the exposure again. About 0 0.25. Just so you can see her pretty face a little bit more. Scroll down. Let's add some saturation and some skin tone to her. About 20, 25. Maybe add a bit of tint of the pink in there. Give her some skin tone. You can do the same for the body skin as well. Before after all right now you can do the same thing for the guy so let's go up to create a new mask select people person one remember to check everything off create eight separate masks and hit create let's start with his hair and kind of do the same thing bring up the contrast a bit maybe a bit of saturation so you can see he's kind of got brown hair there dehaze it a bit there we go now let's do his teeth once again, let's bring up the exposure, 0 0.25 or so. Bring the saturation down about minus 10 or 9. Now, as far as the skin and everything goes, same thing. Let's go to face skin. Hit Y. Bring up the exposure just a bit. A little bit of saturation. Bring some of the skin tone back. Now, it's all due to taste. Whatever you think is going to improve the pick, do it. So, I'm going to stop right here. Before. After. Before. After. We're going to leave the background alone. So what we're going to do now is hit OK. We've cleaned up the color cast and changed a few things in Camera Raw. Now let's take this to the next level. So hit another stamp visible layer. Check it out before, after. Your pick at the bar is starting to look pretty good. But now let's go down and do a color lookup level. I always like to try crisp warm and Bam! Kind of ties everything together and makes it look great. Could be a bit much. So bring the opacity all the way to zero and you just start dragging it up where you can see it makes a difference and brings it all together. I'm thinking 75%. Let's make a group out of that. Call it color lookup. And it brings your whole picture together. Not bad for a picture taken with a phone. Before, after. Before, after. Now, if you wish to make it just a little bit better than that, even a little more pro, let's make another stamp visible layer. We get a smart object. And let's go to filter, neural filters, and depth blur. It'll figure it out. That's a little too much for my taste. So I'll cut it in half from 50 down to about 25. And there it cleans it up just nice. You have a nice blurred background. So the center pops and you can see the people. Very cool. I hope that wasn't too much to digest, but as you can see, your selfies or your pictures anywhere can be taken to the next level. Thanks for sticking it out to the very end. I'll see you soon.